as the name suggests, the sound card is the component for the machine that allows the sound of the system to be to be shown to, to be audible through the um, speakers or any peripheral plugins to any of the plugins. Yeah. Now what I have to do now is to plug in the system. So this component is the machine correctly. First, as I've done here, I've put it on this. As a standard this button, so I don't destroy any hardware system inside. Here is the sound card, and the sound card allows the sound to be projected through the, from the system to the peripherals, such as the speakers, and it also allows recording of sounds. Now, what we're going to do is install the um, component into its correct place. First of all, we've got to take off the, um, the lid for the user bag. So, just put it out and Next, we put in this half of the microphone and slide it in here. And, and it does it. There should be. Oh, hang on. There we go. And then we put the second component, the screw, in. Making sure this piece is anchored in. Like so. Before you do anything else, you'd want to anchor in this uh, this component. So, at the moment, we want to screw it in. This may be a little fiddly. Now, now next, we place the component into the socket here. And being as careful as you can, not to, not to break any parts of it, it's quite valuable and fragile. And gently does it. And once you fix it in, you push it down a little more and make sure it's tightly in. There you go. And uh, finally, we just put, put the lid back on, make sure that everything's caught. And then we screw it in. Then we screw it in. And here we are, the and it's, uh, we plug it into the power source and we put on the display with the VGA cable. We also put keyboard, mouse and the Ethernet for internet access. Okay, uh, so now we're going to in install a bit of software. So go on to applications, we run to software center, then onto internet. Um, but I'm going to search it anyway. We're after Chromium, which is the Chromium web browser. This is what we're going to install. So click on install. We'll type in the password. And as you see here, it's in progress, <laughs> and it's only going to take a minute. Now we've installed it, I'm going to click on install software, Just scroll down there, as you can see there, access to the internet. So we should be able to go into applications, the network, and premium web browser. And here we go, and this is Google Chrome.